right, welcome back, everyone. Gardening is almost back in season, and if you aren't already into it, you've probably started preparing. Now, if you want to get into it, we know the person to help you. Emily with Cedar Hill Gardens, who's going to show you how to plant transplants, an easy way to get started for the good weather coming up. Emily, the last time we saw you, we were planting seeds, but you got something different for us this week. Yes, yeah, so this is called a transplant. It just means I went to the store and I bought a plant that had already grown a little bit. I checked with my local extension or whatever resource I use, and I said, what can I plant? So right now I have broccoli, celery, lettuces, chard, cool season flowers, all kinds of things. I love to plant flowers in my garden just because it makes it pretty. So like this is a butter crunch lettuce, okay? A lot of people like to have what we call in my business the salad bar. Would you <laughs> like a salad bar with your garden? And this is the transplant, okay? So all we want to do is make sure that the root ball is completely covered. So when I dig my hole, okay? So what happens if you pull that out and it breaks? Yeah, that can happen. If it breaks completely, then you're probably just going to the next transplant. But usually, if you just kind of give it a squeeze and pull it out, it's fine. Okay. You can see those roots, okay? So I just dig my hole, make sure it's planted and covered, and then I'm gonna water it in, obviously. And I'm gonna go through and do this with all of these plants. And how deep are you putting that in? I just do it until it, the root ball is covered. So depending on your plant will depend on how big the root ball is, but I don't want any of that exposed because I want all the moisture to stay in there and for the plant to grow. So these things will double in size and you know by next week or so, which is really fun to watch. Um, you can see I have some carrots in here from uh, the fall. And I, I could eat, I could eat those now, but I'll probably let the rest of them keep growing, you know, and get a little bit bigger. But it's kind of fun to watch your garden transition from season to season. So this is planting from transplant. Okay. The reason we would do that is maybe we don't have enough time for a tiny little seed to grow to a giant broccoli in 80 days, but we do have enough time for it to grow from a plant like a teenager until 80 days from then. Okay, so it, it's both 80 days either way. No, it'd be a lot longer. So if you plant from seed, it's going to take a lot longer than if you plant from transplant. So these plants are about four to six weeks old. Okay. Um, and so that was actually kind of a confusing thing for me when I first started gardening. Um, and so that's why I created a resource that helps you know if you should plant something from seed like we did last week with the cilantro and the sugar snap peas or from transplant, something that takes a little bit longer to grow. But if you plant celery in your garden, I promise you it will taste a lot better than the grocery store cardboard celery that you're used to eating. It just looks really pretty, doesn't it? Yeah, and, and which way do most people tend to go? Um, for new gardeners, start with transplants. I tell people, garden in your season of life, okay? If you've got little kids like I did when I started gardening, like I'm not starting a lot from seed because I don't have time to baby those. I'm taking care of kids. Start with transplants. It's just a little bit more low maintenance, um, a little bit easier start. And then just always add in flowers. You know, it's gonna make it pretty for your garden. That'll look really pretty at Easter. And then in the summer, if you have flowers, it's gonna bring in bees, butterflies, all the things we need for our summer crops. So I like to tuck those in as well. So um, you kind of get the best of both worlds, right? Where you're going to design it, but you're also going to get food out of it. Yeah, and it's pretty to look at and it's inviting and you can cut some for your neighbors and, you know, make an arrangement with it. So I don't know. I just love it. And what time of the year is the best for something like this? So this is going to be kind of a cool season crop for Mississippi. That's going to be like late February, early March, or in the fall when it starts to cool off finally in October, <laughs> maybe November. Um, but that's when I'm planting these kind of things. Mm -hmm. Awesome, Emily. All right. Yeah. I'll check in with you in a few weeks. Okay. Sounds good. Emily is just wonderful to work with, and she is a gardening expert. All right, if you want to contact her, Cedar Hill Garden Consulting, you can go to that website, cedarhillgardens.com. You can go to her Facebook. It's got a bunch of videos on there. She kind of works through some things, so sometimes if you catch us or if you want to rewatch something, she posts a lot about topics that we're going to be discussing here at Live at 9. That's Cedar Hill Garden Consulting, and her number is 769 972 Two, two, six. It's all right there on your screen. 